Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Jeffrey Epstein Show. I'm your host, Bobby Capucci, and this is a morning update. Happy to report that plumbing issues in my kitchen are now a thing of the past. The plumbers just left, everything is fixed up, and we are rocking and rolling and ready to go with at least three episodes today. How's everyone doing? I hope everyone's having a great day so far. My day, like I said, starting off swimmingly. No pun intended. Now that the plumbers are gone and there's no serious issues, I could take a a deep breath and prepare for more important things like exposing predators. We're going to talk a little bit this morning about a CBS 60 Minutes episode that they have coming up. Uh, It's going to be on this Sunday, and I guess they're going to be inside of Jeffrey Epstein's cell. I haven't read the article yet. It seems to be a relatively short article today. And there's, we're relatively short on Jeffrey Epstein news this morning, in fact. So we're going to read this article in a minute. But first, I would like to get to a couple of things. First and foremost, Santa Fe, New Mexico. We are on our way, folks. Another few weeks. Another few weeks and your favorite loudmouth will have his feet on the ground in Santa Fe asking all sorts of questions. All sorts of questions to all sorts of people that other journalists would never even think to talk to. I'm thinking out of the box here, folks. I have a few things lined up, and I definitely have two people who are going to talk to me, sit down and talk to me. Neither of them seem to want to go on the record. Maybe that'll be different when I get there. Who knows? But I will certainly respect anyone who does not want to be on the record. I, I understand why. We're dealing with dangerous people. Very dangerous people during very dangerous times. You know, you look around at the way people conduct themselves in in positions of power and how they believe that they're untouchable. Just take, for example, Ghislaine Maxwell and the way she's acting right now. She's at safe houses. She's being protected. She's being given financial support. And meanwhile, Virginia Roberts is standing on top of every single mountaintop that's available to her. And she is calling for this woman to face justice. Now, if you're one of these people and you're protecting Ghislaine Maxwell and you happen to be listening out there, stop. Stop it right now and turn her in. What are you doing? Why would you be associated with this woman who is obviously evil, who is obviously involved in one of the most heinous and dastardly trafficking rings in the history of the United States and perhaps and perhaps the history of the whole western world this is the people that were involved in this folks even be it enabling or involved directly the names make your head spin it's something out of a novel something that you would never even believe if somebody was to tell you this you would say there is zero way that all of these rich and famous people would be so stupid to get caught up with Jeffrey Epstein. How in the world could they possibly have been caught up with Jeffrey Epstein when everybody knew that Epstein was up to something? Even if you didn't know he was touching kids and molesting children, you knew that he was a weird son of a bitch, all right? It doesn't take much. It didn't take much to know that, oh, he's eccentric. Oh, he's, no, he's weird, okay? Why does he have nothing but young women around? Why does he have chess pieces carved like them? Why does he have a Bill Clinton in a dress photo on his wall? Why is there a photo of your assistant and friend Elaine Maxwell with her legs spread on your wall, sir? Is that not a question somebody should have asked him? Or is it just me? Or is it just me who has those kinds of questions? Oh, Because I have those kinds of questions, believe me. If I was to walk into somebody's house and I was to see all of this weird-ass, odd artwork, the questions would be coming out a million a minute. What's up with the artwork? Why'd you choose that? Where'd you get it from? What inspired you to buy that? You dig this kind of stuff? Isn't it creepy to you? Why do you want to see a little kid with its pants half pulled down? What's wrong with you? Those would be some of the questions that would be coming out of my mouth. And you know how I know that I'd be asking those questions? It's very simple, folks, because I cannot stop myself. When I think something is goofy, I have to question it. And that's how I've been since a little kid, and that is how I will be until I'm an old curmudgeon, a couple years from now, I'm guessing, the way things are going, and ready to pass away. Because enough is enough with the the skirting around things. 
How about a little bit of honesty for once, folks? How about a little bit of straightforwardness? Everyone's so worried about hurting everyone else's feelings. Everyone is so worried about offending Ghislaine Maxwell or Alan Dershowitz or Glenn Dubin or you name anyone else who was named in these court papers. Not me. I don't care. If you were named in these documents, all right, it doesn't make you guilty. I believe in due process. I believe that everyone should have a fair trial. But I also believe that if you're skirting and you're trying to avoid prosecutors and you don't want to sit down and talk under oath, that I I am of the opinion then that you are hiding something. All right. Innocent people don't hide. Innocent people contact a lawyer and go through the steps of clearing their name. And not one of these people have done it, folks. Not one of them. Okay. Prince Andrew attempted to save some face and look where that got him. Do you think it would be better off for any of these people? Do you think any of these people are that smart? Do you think any of these people are truly, truly that crafty? I do not. I do not. I think that these people have been insulated by their wealth. They have been insulated by others who know that they're useful, so therefore they protect them. But as far as their own merits and standing on their own two feet when it comes to being street smart or being able to uh, uh, withstand uh, cross-examination or uh, interview by a hardened prosecutor, zero chance any of these people would be able to stand tall before the wagon. They would be singing like canaries, okay? We're talking Sammy the Bull Gravano level singing. And that's where they should start. They should start with Sarah Kellen, Adriana Ross, Leslie Groff, and Nadia Marcinkova, as well as Jean-Luc Brunel. They should get, arrest all of them. There is plenty to arrest them on and start putting the screws to them and then build their case against Ghislaine Maxwell and then, oh, and then throw the whole entire Rico book at her. Make her pay. She's still alive. Epstein's gone, unfortunately. So that means, as you well know, as I've discussed recently on the podcast where I'm at with Ghislaine Maxwell, I feel that she's just as guilty, just as devious, and I think she was the actual ringleader. So I want the full hand of the law to come down and swat her and smash her like the bug she is because she deserves it more than anybody else. And the way to get there, if she's being protected, is to perhaps kick a plea deal down to somebody like Nadia Marcinkova or one of the women in the inner circle to get them to rat on the bigger fish, Ghislaine. That's, that's going to be the only way we're going to be able to get someone to rat on Ghislaine Maxwell, folks. Somebody's going to have to get pinched, and somebody is going to have to kick it up the ladder. It's the only way that they're going to get her, in my opinion. All right, so this article is from CBS, and like I said, it's uh, about Jeffrey Epstein's jail cell, inside of Jeffrey Epstein's jail cell, and it'll be on Sunday on 60 Minutes. Um, it was The article was produced January 3rd, 2020. And it does not have an author, so CB, it just says CBS News, so I'm guessing staff wrote it. 60 Minutes report, a 60 Minutes report is revealing new information about last August jail cell death of convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. Correspondent Sharon Alfonsi reports on Sunday 60 Minutes that Epstein's body was found by federal, by federal correctional officers at approximately 6.30 a.m. And sources say that one of them could be heard saying, breathe, Epstein, breathe. So who are the sources that say that? What's the evidence of that? Can we see the video or is the video still broken? What did Barr see? I thought that Barr saw some video or is Barr just lying again like he always does? I hate to break the news to you folks, Barr is not a good guy. No, none of these people are good guys. They're all great characters. Every now and then they'll do something good, something that upholds the law, but really what they're trying to do is move the needle forward for whatever their narrative is. And that goes for all of them on both sides of the aisle, Republican, Democrat, and anything in between. Forensic pathologist Dr. Michael Bodden was hired by Epstein's brother Mark to investigate his death. Dr. Bodden observed the autopsy and believes that Jeffrey Epstein died around 4.30 that morning, two hours earlier. So, 
According to Dr. Botten, Epstein died two hours before anyone ever even showed up to the cell. And now when they showed up to the cell, why did they move his body? Why wasn't his body left there so they can conduct an investigation? It's not standard to move the body. And also, when the officers reported, they should have had handheld cameras as well. Not just the cameras that were embedded inside of the ceilings. They should have had handheld cameras to help them with their report. So, still no answers. The New York medical examiner has ruled Epstein's death a suicidal hanging. Allegedly. Alfonsi also reports on what was found inside Epstein's jail cell, saying the room was not sparse. There was a lot of bedding, an electrical cord, even pen and paper in the cell. Before his death, Epstein, 66, was accused of sexually abusing dozens of underage girls. He had connections to several rich and powerful people, leading to speculation about his death. Alfonsi investigates the known circumstances of the wealthy financiers, pedophiles, Death this Sunday, January 5th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time on CBS. All right, so I figured that that would be a little interesting tidbit for you folks in case you weren't aware that this was going to be on. We can take a look at it, see what sort of reporting CBS does, see what they bring to the table. But until we have hard evidence one way or the other, it's inconclusive how Jeffrey Epstein died. We're not, I'm not going to sit around here and say, oh, he definitely killed himself, or he was definitely murdered. We do not know, all right? My opinion is that there is way too mon- much coincidence around the circumstances of his death for us not to question deeper and to take a harder look, but there's no, there's no way that anyone can convince me that this was just a bunch of coincidences that all lined up. I'm sorry. I am sorry. I need hard evidence of that, not just what Barr has to say. Listen, I don't believe you, Barr, okay? Again, the Penguins don't believe Barr either. They've contacted me, they sent me an email, and the Penguins in in Antarctica do not believe you. All right? We need hard evidence. I do not believe anybody from any of these institutions. Not a single person. Okay? Evidence? Or I don't believe you. And that is exactly where I am at this point. I'm not just going to go on what the authorities have to say. I, I don't trust the authorities. I do not trust the authorities to tell us the truth about any of this stuff, especially if it can hurt them in the end. All right, folks, we all know what 2020 is. This is the year. This is the year that all of these sick, disgusting predators turn into the prey. This is the year that the 1% get what's coming to them. If you'd like to contact me, you can do that at Bobby Capucci at ProtonMail.com. That's B-O-B-B-Y-C-A-P-U-C-C-I at ProtonMail.com. If you would like to help support the podcast, you can do that by clicking on the GoFundMe link inside of the description box. I will be back in a few hours with the first of the Evolution Drops. Have a great day, folks.